Today's story is Kitty in the City. Mind your manners, s'il vous plaît, by Kinsley Foster, illustrated by Carrie McGarren. Bonjour. My name is Kittredge Isabella Calloway, but you may call me Kitty. The world is a big place with lots of different people, but you can go anywhere if you know how to behave. The table. Before you eat, always wash your hands. Don't forget the soap. Sometimes I have to be reminded that the table is not the proper place to play. Sometimes I have to remind mother and father that the breakfast table is not the proper place to read. When we are together, conversation is best. At the table, I try to sit up straight with my napkin on my lap. Mother says it makes me look quite grown up and sophisticated. And even though it is not always fun, I help Viola clear the plates. She says we work well together. I must say, eating with your fingers is positively disgusting. Not to mention messy. But it is all right if you are eating finger foods like pizza, my favorite. Just remember to chew with your mouth closed. When eating soup, slurping is quite rude. It is most noticeable when someone else does it. Ugh. The telephone. When you answer the phone, be sure to be very polite and write your messages carefully. But don't forget to give the messages like I sometimes do, because you will most definitely inconvenience someone and end up feeling positively horrible about it. Pay careful attention when speaking on the telephone to someone you don't know. Never give your name and address just to be perfectly safe. You never know what might end up at your front door. When eating in a restaurant, it is extremely rude to talk on the phone, even if it is your agent. Rupert agrees. It is most courteous to refrain from calling someone during dinner. If I want to speak to Bouvier between six and seven in the evening, I must wait. Making a call after nine o'clock will most definitely wake someone, and shouldn't be done. Having the phone ring in your ear is a dreadful way to wake up. The bathtub. Being clean is quite important, so be sure to take a bath every day with lots of bubbles. When you are done, remember to clean up after yourself. Sometimes I forget. Every morning and every night, brush your teeth. Be sure to put the cap back on the toothpaste. Or you'll probably have to come in from the park to clean it up. I learned that the hard way. Before school, I always brush my hair nicely and neatly. Although. Some mornings I get lazy and wear a hat. When I take it off, I look positively silly. Guests. Being a guest at someone's home can be delightful. To show your appreciation, a small and thoughtful gift such as a flower is absolutely perfect. Having a guest is even more fun than being one. Especially if it is Bouvier, I always take her coat and offer her something to drink. Bouvier prefers strawberry milkshakes, so we always share one. Then she helps me clean up the mess. 
It is quite lovely to let your guests decide what to play. Board games are Bouvier's absolute favorite. When I go to Bouvier's house, she lets me choose what we play. I positively adore tea parties. When Bouvier spends the night at my house, we have lots of fun. Occasionally, she forgets her pajamas, so I let her borrow my favorite pair. She always gives them back clean and neatly folded, the same way that I lent them to her. She is a very good friend. Out and about. When ordering in a restaurant, make sure to say please and thank you. Sometimes I say it in French. Merci beaucoup. If you have to sneeze or cough at the table, don't fret. Just make sure to cover your mouth and turn away from the table. It will be most appreciated. A, 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 choo! When you're waiting to get on the elevator, you should wait to the side. People need to get off first before you can get on. The same goes for the subway. Rupert says that there is room for everyone who waits their turn. At the movies, talking will most positively disturb everyone around you. But if you absolutely must say something, whispering is best. Bouvier usually asks me if we can trade snacks. While at school, passing out party invitations isn't very nice. Unless, of course, everyone is included. When someone has given you a gift or been especially kind, the proper way to show your appreciation is with a thank you note. Don't forget to mail it. Respecting your elders. When meeting new people, especially adults, always shake their hands firmly and look them in the eyes. That is how they will know it is a pleasure to make their acquaintance. When adults are speaking, you should never interrupt them, even if the ice cream man is standing remarkably close and ice cream is your most favorite thing in the whole world. You must simply be patient. Sometimes mother rewards me. Mint chocolate chip ice cream is quite delicious, although mother prefers strawberry. It makes mother very happy when I pitch in and help with the little things, like carrying in the groceries. After all, she always thinks of me when she is at the store. The best way to let your parents know that you love and appreciate them is to show them with lots of hugs. Most importantly, every night before you go to sleep, tell your parents that you love them and always, always, always sleep tight. The end. Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.